It's a beautiful autumn day today, with the corn having grown. I guess it's the end of summer, actually. But uh, removing your bumper will be necessary to install your transmission oil cooler. In my case, I already had the cooler in place from last time when I installed the uh, engine oil cooler. But this time I'm actually going to connect it together to the transmission fluid and that requires uh, dumping the original transmission fluid just to you know do a change at the same time. So I'll show you how that's done. To remove the bumper, I've already done that with the previous video about the oil cooler so if you want to check that out you'll know how. Looking more closely at the front of the car here's the oil cooler that one's already connected and done. This is the B transmission oil cooler. I've just uh, removed this air filter and used the syringe along with an ice cream container to uh, fill the cooler because as it was already in place I couldn't quite reach. So right now the cooler is already full to the brim but it feels a bit like uh, doing medical operations The other thing that I needed to do is unplug the original lines and empty the oil cooler, uh, the, uh, the oil pan. So let's take a look at that at the bottom of the car. If you are a Z enthusiast that works on his car, you're probably familiar with this site. This is the underbody from the rear. And this pan here is the transmission fluid pan. You have two bolts on it. This one is for emptying and this one is for filling. Right now as you see I've removed the bolt here because this one has a straw shape which goes to the fill level of this pen. So this one you can leave open whereas this one I left open and drained from it. So this is a drain plug. If this one is um, stripped then you can just use a Westcott wrench to remove it. I did it that way myself. Looking from the front of the car, you'll find right beside the oil pan are two plugs. These plugs, they go to the uh, cooler at the front and you'll see they're connected through a couple of lines that move upwards. What you have to do is remove those rubbers one of them is tightened using these fasteners, another one is using a kind of a, a clip. And you remove both of those. These are the original connections to the original cooler, which is in the radiator, and it's very small. So we're going to replace these with an actual oil cooler. In my case, there are two tubes that will connect. But the fittings for the transmission line are smaller than for the original oil lines. So these are the standard fittings, they're reducers, that will go in here to reduce the size to the appropriate measurement. And then these will go on top. But before doing anything, in case any of you are already crying, I have some Teflon tape. This is going to be absolutely necessary to keep everything watertight. So I'm not very good at putting Teflon tape on, fortunately, but getting better every day. And then screw this right back on. I kind of love the feeling of Teflon tape right under your fingers. Feels like everything is nice and tight. All right, the wrench. I'm going to do the rest, do the same thing to the other side. So importantly, take the long one, put it on, on that side. So, before doing anything, I'm just going to get my wrench, tighten everything up. The reason I'm using the same wrench again is just I don't have the metric version of these. 
so when installing tubes and pipes it's all about threading the needle interestingly Nissan has left a hole right here so that you can just right through the front isn't that cool it's really nice of them almost as if they knew that we'd have to do this well 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 how interesting Okay. All right, all right, all right. As you can see, it's relatively trivial to get your tubes through. So then it's just a matter of forcing them and connecting them, screwing them in to these two entries here, which, you know, I won't film because you probably won't want to see that. This is how I have filled the transmission tray so far, using a syringe. It was not the quickest technique. You bet it took a while. I wish I had gotten a, a bigger container to do that. But one thing I would mention is that the bolt for this, which is somewhere here. Hmm. Somewhere. Ah, there we go. The bolt for this, it actually has a sort of Allen or Torx head. I can't, the reason I'm, hes I think it's Allen, but I'm hesitating because it's a bit rusty. It's Allen. Um... I don't know why, the, the drain plug is very large and easy to remove, but this one, not so much. If I were to suggest something, it's to buy a new plug when you do this, so that you can fit something that's not going to be stripped whenever you want to remove it again. That's just a suggestion based off of experience. As I'm jacked up, I'm currently starting the car, and we're going to spend a couple of minutes in park, and then you know, put the transmission in, in its different paces, so reverse, and spend a minute there, neutral, spend a minute there, drive, spend a minute there. And the goal of this is just to make the transmission fluid go through the whole transmission, fill all its passages, then you go underneath, check whether you can fill it with more, and I did that a couple of times. So now we should be ready to go and test the transmission, because the liquid is full. After testing and checking for leaks, this is how I've settled on installing. Uh, just passing the tubes right behind the uh, shock bar. And uh, it works like that for now. By removing the panel here, uh, you can easily pass it behind. So I don't know, maybe I'll resort to using this configuration in the future. I just hope that no metal will rub too much against it. We'll have to see in a few miles, but um, yeah, we'll see because eventually I'm planning to install coolers for the uh, brakes right here. So that'll take up space, so you know, given that, the stuff will have to move a little bit, but it can probably be placed elsewhere. So for now, the final touch will be a little snip. Here where the old and new tubes were connected, I just connected the new tubes and then snipped the old tubes as well. Except it was a little bit less satisfying than that zipper tie.